Welcome to the homework for lesson 20. This is module 2 of grade 1. Write your name here first. Get that on there before you forget. You won't remember to do it later. Complete the number sentences to make them true. Doesn't say how we have to do it. So when they're close, I'm going to count them up, but otherwise I'm going to look I'm going to be these are like minus 9, minus 8. This minus 7. We get some minus 7s, 8s and 9s. I'm going to be taking from 10 to do most of these. So I'm just going to show that's 10, 5, just to show it. And then when I take 9 from that, that's going to be a 1. 1 plus 5, 6. 15 is 10, 5. When I take 8 from that 10, 8 and 2 make 10, so there's going to be 2 left. 2 plus 5, that's 6, 7. And then 15 minus 7. 10, 5 again. And we're going to take 7 away from 10. There should be 3 left because 7 and 3 make 10. Those are the partners to 10. We always practice 5 plus 3. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8. And you may notice this. There's, a, there's kind of a trick to this. See our menu end or the hole in our number sentence is the same every time. And the number we're subtracting the is which is the subtrahend that number is minus nine then we had six minus eight we're taking away one less so we have one more left behind and if we take away one less we have one more left behind so maybe see sort of a pattern there to check it ten seven i take away nine from ten there's going to be one left, so 7 plus 1, 8. 10, 7. And remember when I took away 9, I had 1 left. When I take away 8, there's going to be 2 left. So 7 and 2 is 9. It's 1 more than 7 plus 1. And here we have again 10, 7. And I had 2 left when I took away 8, so I'm going to have 3 left when I take away 7. 7 and 3, well, those are partners to 10, aren't they? So that's just 10. And you might have realized this right off. You just looked at that. You're taking away the 7. You're going to have 10 left because 10, 7. Now we're working with 16s. 16 is 10, 6. And I take away 9. I'll have 1 left. 6 and 1 more is 7. 16, 10, 6. Take away 8 left. That's 2. 6 and 2 more is 8. 16, 10, 6, and uh, if I take away 7 from 10, of 3, so 6 and 3, well, 6 and 2 is 8, 6 and 3 has to be 9, or you can just count up 7, 8, 9, 3 more. 19, well, you can see this right here. If it's going to be 10, 9, I'm going to take away the 9. I'll have 10 left. So you might not even need the number bond to see that. <clears throat> 19, 10, 9. I take 8 from the 10. I could take 8 from the 9 also because the 9 is big enough to do that. So I could see that. This is 8, but we were used to doing it this way. So maybe it's easier. Two left here, nine and two more, 10, 11. 10, 9. And just for variety's sake, if I take seven away from the nine, I'll have two left. 10 and two is 12. And now we're going to match some equal expressions. So 19 minus nine, right? That's 10, nine. And if I take away the nine, I'll have 10. So this is worth 10. And this one looks similar because if I have 18, I take away the 8, right? That's 10, 8. And I take away the 8, I'll still have 10 left. So these two match. <clears throat> and then we have 13 minus 8. That's 10, 3. Take away that 8 from that 10. We have 2, 2 and 3. So this is worth, this is equal to 5. And this expression is probably also equal to 5, right? Because this is 10, 2, and if I take away 7 from 10, I have 3, 3 plus 2, 5 left. So these two match up also. Now we're reading a math story. 
we have to use a drawing or a number bond to show how you know who is right. Okay, so these are, we see a lot of problems like this where somebody says one thing and somebody else disagrees and we have to figure out, improve who is right. And then the hard part really is showing how you can tell which one is right. <clears throat> and we're going to do that with a math drawing or a number bond. If you use a math drawing, got to label it. Number bond should also be labeled too. Elsie says that the expressions 17 minus 8 and 18 minus 9 are equal. John says they are not equal. Who is right? Well, let's find out if they're equal. So we have to find out what 17 minus 8 is, and we have to find out what 18 minus 9 is. And if they, if they come to the same number, then they're equal. So let's prove it. Let's 17 minus 8. If we use uh, number bonds... We can do 10, 7, and then that will be 2 left there. So 2 plus 7 equals 9. So 17 minus 8 is 9. And you could do that with a number drawing, with a, a math drawing. That would be fine. Uh, <clears throat> but here I'm going to do, I'll show, just to show both ways you could use, and you don't have to do one of each. You could do number bonds for both or pictures for both. That was a 17 minus 8. Let's look at the 18 minus 9. All right, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's the 10, and now we need 8 more, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 18. I'm going to cross out 9. That leaves 1 from this 10. And so I know this is 8, and 1 more is 9. So that equals nine and so I, who is right I still have to answer the question and say John says they're not equal well we can see here that they both are they both equal nine so that means that Elsie who said Elsie says they are equal so Elsie is correct Elsie is and the word right is here the words you need to spell to write your uh, <clears throat> answer statement. It's just a three-word statement. Elsie is right. But you have to have that, otherwise you're not answering the question. The words that you need to spell, they're usually right in the question. John says that the expressions 11 minus 8 and 12 minus 8 are not equal. Elsie says they are. Who is right? Well, you might see right off that if you're subtracting 8, from two different numbers, you're going to get two different answers. <clears throat> so you should know right off that they're not equal, but you have to do something to show it. So um, I'm going to draw pictures. 11 and 12 aren't a huge number, so I can draw those pretty easily. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to label this one 11 minus 8. 11 there. So I know which one this is for. So this is going to cross out 8. There should be 2 left from that 10. So this one equals 3. And now I'm going to do 12 minus 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 10, 11, 12. Cross out 8. 2 left from that 10, and then 2 more, it equals 4. So they are not equal, and that means John. So John says they are not equal, so John, and John's name is right there, and there's the word right, John is right. That's it. Everything you need. Got a picture, got number sentences, got your answer statement. And the pictures are labeled. Elsie says that to solve 17 minus 9, she can take 1 from the 17 and give it to 9 to make 10. So, 17 minus 9 is equal to 16 minus 10. John thinks Elsie made a mistake. 
who is correct. This problem is a puzzle because there's all this, this part just really doesn't make sense to me. She says that she can take one from the 17 and give it to the nine to make 10. Um, I don't really get that. But she does, she also says this. She says that 17 minus 9 is equal to 16 minus 10. So I can test that. Let's solve 17 minus 9 and solve 16 minus 10 and see if they are the same. And you might have an idea. You might have an idea about which, which one of them is correct. So if it, if it turns out that these are equal, which is just what we've been doing, we've been testing these statements to see if they're true. So let's find out if they really are equal. Let's solve them both. 17 minus 9 is 10, 7. And there's one left when I take from that 9. So this is going to be equal to 8. And then 16 minus 10, well, that's 10, 6. And then if I'm taking 10, I take 10 from the 10. There's only 6 left, so that equals 6. They're not the same, are they? Who is correct? We don't even have to know what Elsie's mistake is or understand it. We just can see that they're not the same, so she can't be right. So John is correct. Elsie made a mistake. Otherwise, they, they would be equal, right? So we're going to write that John here is correct. That's how you spell correct. John is correct. And there's your proof, right? You have to have this. Either you could draw pictures and cross out to show it, or you could use that for both of them. You can either use pictures and cross out, or you could do, uh, do it with the number bonds the way I did it. Uh, either way, you have to show it, either drawing a picture or a number bond, using, those, using your choice there to show that, that those, uh, those number sentences, that's how you solve them. John and Elsie are trying to find several subtraction number sentences that start with numbers larger than 10 and have an answer of 7. Help them figure out number sentences. They started the first one. So it's starting with a number larger than 10, 16, and they have to have an answer of 7. So we can guess this one probably has an answer of 7, but let's check it just to be sure. Right? That's 10, 6. And if we take away not over going to take away nine from that ten. We'll have one left. One plus six is seven. So that one works out. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to pick some here. Uh, uh, let's try uh, seventeen minus seven. That might be an easy one. Uh, oh, uh, wait. We need an answer of seven. Oops. Let me erase that. Because that'll be ten, won't it? Seventeen minus something equals. 7. And then how about uh, 11 is larger than 10 minus something equals 7. And how about uh, 15? 15 minus something equals 7. So we just have to solve these. You know, and I just pick these numbers just pick any teen number. It has to be larger than 10. You could have picked 20. You could have picked 100. But if you're going to draw 100 circles, that's it's just making it too hard for yourself. Pick numbers that are easy to, easier to work with if you can. So let's look at the uh, 17. Well, you might see this one is a 10, 7. That's why I picked it, because I knew if I took away the 7, I'd have the 10 left. So I have to take away 10 to have 7 left. <coughs> Now this other one, here's 11 minus something equals 7. I could count up the difference there. Those are fairly close enough. So I could think 8, 9, 10, 11. That's four numbers, so it's 11 minus 4. And this is 15 minus something equals 7. And uh, these are not so close together, but I could just draw it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Three fives, right? So uh, if I want to have seven left, that's five and two more. So these I'm going to have left. I'm going to have to cross out all the rest of them. That's how much I'm going to have to take away to have that seven left. And how many is it? That's five, six, seven, eight. 
And you could do this for all three of them that you have to make up yourself. You can choose the ones that I did, and uh, but you have to show your work just as I did for mine, or pick different numbers. Use number bonds, counting on, or draw and cross out. Those are the three different strategies, three of the strategies that you can use.